So could you see that my queen size mattress fits just perfectly, look at that. We are going to install this bad boy in that panel there and then wire in everything behind it. So if you haven't seen before, I've done quite a bit of work without you guys and I must apologize for that. A few things that need to be done yet. I'm going to buy a small sink and put it in here. I'm gonna get some underslung water tank to run up through the floor and to the sink. Then I'm going to get a roof rack tank. It's gonna heat the hot water through the sun. Potentially run a shower head off it as well. Under here, probably paint that white. Paint that white, fill in the hole for the overhang cupboard. Then I have this gap, which I wasn't very happy about. Here we have an ugly wood panel with some staples in. I'm going to see if I can get some slate and do some backsplash tiling on this. So the wires actually travel behind this back panel from various applications down here. And then they loop round and come up through this hole and then into the back of here. Then this will be wired directly to the fuse box. So I've just installed the control panel and as you can see we've got a 12 volt port, USB sockets and then we've got a volt meter which tells us what our battery state is at. So 12.9 fully charged, we've got all our LEDs and fans and fridges so fridge Then we have the third one, we have another light. Oh. The third one is a fan. Then we have fourth one. Back fan. This is our kitchen lights. Then we have our reading light at the back. 230 amp dual core wire running to each solar panel from the uh, Anderson plug there at the top. I have four very straight holes, not, uh, that I've drilled through the roof and installed these glands. Now the glands prevent water from seeping through your, the, your roof. I've also given it a small bead of sealant. So when I get my solar panel out, I will trim the end of these attach my MC4 connectors and then connect her up to solar panels. And behind the luxury panel we have a whole series of wires. Then the back here we have two fuse boards. One for negative and one for positive. Now the negative one I've just put in heavy fuses to work as connections basically. I didn't want to fuse the negative so the positive is actually fused correctly for each appliance and each of the wires feed into that and then they tether down on a 30 amp cable into the Anderson plug connector which is on the top of the box there so it's all very clean and I've just opened this up because I forgot to put the lid on the other fuse board but not to worry because this whole panel is false and it just opens up like so. So here's me. Now there's a few things that need to be touched up, looked at and sorted, but I think that the majority of the work is completed. Uh, now that's with exception to the roof rack, as the roof rack needs to house the solar panels and it needs to house the water tanks and I guess I'm nowhere near finished really because I've got to do so much more but the majority of the work is completed. I need to put a sink in here and just figuring out storage and things, but it looks finished. It looks nice. So I'm quite happy. I guess I didn't show you guys the shelves in the background there that I threw up the other day, which are going to store some goodies, some socks and some pants, and perhaps even some carrots. <laughs>